Okay. Welcome to a game against Caveman's Crossing. Actually, a rematch after I was badly beaten in turn five, I think. A classic steamroll. You may or might not have already seen it. This time it seems to might promise a better game, since I will be able to execute a martial setup. Quite useful for the USA. That's it. Yep. Quite annoying that previous game with me losing practically every roll on my opponent's part in any coups, wars, etc. Plus, well, double deco and a distal. Hmm, single decal this time. All by duck and cover, maybe. Let us see. Okay, as for my place, well, blockade dumps such as governments. The goal, hard to say, maybe go to space, probably. Yeah, probably best. Or maybe I just waste it in France. Which would allow me to space Arab Israeli war, which has hurt me quite a bit in the previous game. Hmm, it's taking him quite a while. Okay, looks like a classic. Botswana, really? Huh. That's novel. Okay. Hmm. I think I'll go for the Middle Eastern strategy. Which would allow me to play Arab Israeli war with minimum risk. Swana is quite interesting though. A safe influence. I mean safe from CA. Hell, not again. Well, at least I want that back. But still, Asia is just bad. And I lose Angola, Zaire. I wonder if I should have went for an immediate coup in Laos, Cambodia. A very interesting opening. And then that reminds me of 
Less chance Xi. Really? No Angola. That's unusual. Maybe he does hold CIA. Lost a war. That's a first. <clears throat> okay, then space. Zaire has to happen, really. No reason to take Angola if I didn't take Zaire. that worked. Now, what do I do with you, Monsieur la Présidente? Yeah. <laughs> Figured you might. I definitely need to be in this region. In case I lose uh, your Iran coup next turn. Let's get rid of this one. Or do I space it? Suez is still round after all. Okay, let's sunk it. Damn it. Okay, no. Factors are risky here, considering that he might go with Europe scoring. To be honest, I just don't have a better headline. <clears throat> and let's see, Mr. Europe. I assume I will lose Zaire. Which will not be a huge problem, fortunately. Since I don't really have anything to do with my ops this turn. Keep Europe safe. Take India. As I hold in the Pakistani war. Panama, is it? Nah, playing it safe. Makes sense. Mm -hmm. Mm. 
No, that's my only playable high card. Can't dump it just like this. Let's try this one. I would like to hold all the African countries. I will need to take Libya since I will be playing Nasser. Might as well play Cambridge sooner rather than later. Since, well, he knows that I don't have Europe or if I do, well, it doesn't matter anyway. This is, I can easily score it whenever I feel like it. If you want India, then you need to risk it. Might as well play NASA already. Hmm. Okay, okay. <coughs> Damn, am I indecisive this game? I wonder if he has Europe. He did. How gratifying. And that worked too. Yeah, he did. He should have headlined Europe. Now, now it's good. Okay, the situation in Asia, 5-3. 6-3 uh, after Vietnam revolt, so <clears throat> no point chasing the country count. Yeah, for influence. 
That's a bit surprising. Okay. I'll go for something more in Africa. No point in fighting over Angola. It's most likely lost anyway. Okay, the purge is still around, is it not? I think so. Yeah. In that case, definitely the factors. <laughs> Would be kind of funny if he had Europe again. He's considering various options. Ha! Gotcha! Well, no more defectors in a foreseeable future, but still. Use Japan. I played it in turn one. Okay, goodbye, Angola. Whoa! Really? That's amazing. Didn't see that coming. <laughs> Guess now luck's work. Luck works in my favor. Okay, I need to save that for Japan. I expect to hold the sanitization. So, so, what else? Really? Damn, okay. <laughs> Still. <clears> that <throat> just some, well, I would say bad luck, but this time I was quite lucky overall. So I can't complain if I lose one coup exchange. Start the goal. Okay, it's time to take care of Asia. I wonder if he decides to fight for it. playing China card into Japan. I mean, it's kind of obvious after my move that I have it. I'm also out of three ops, so he might even decide to use a four up to fight me in Japan. Decided not to. Very well then. Okay, so Europe is good. 
score is very good. Middle East, slightly problematic, but not a huge concern. I might want to play Arab Israeli war into Jordan. Well, actually, Europe is very good, considering that the Gaul and Suez have been just played. That means no more serious threats against Europe. I mean, okay, there are. There's Sotsgov, obviously. But it will not steal a battleground from me. <laughs> okay. And did you have Europe, my friend? Such luck this time. Okay. Jordan. Yeah. Let's give it a try. Three. Okay, so it didn't matter. That is nice. OPEC, well, not a fan. Mm, one, two, three, four, five. Annoying cards. That will be the headline. Okay, unless he goes for an Angolan event, I should be okay. Brezhnev. So the plan is dump Europe, space something, or go for OAS immediately. What will I space? I might be able to space two cards. Sustainization, obviously. Hmm. Nuisance. Okay, I assume he doesn't have Central America scoring since he would have done that first. <coughs> Let's get my hand unburdened first. Followed by spacing. Well, I think I'll risk spacing this tonization. <clears throat> Considering that if he events salt, I will have two or three coups. Pakistan? Really? Despite no in the well, in the Paki war would have actually be a deterrent, that's true. But Asia is scored already. Oh. Okay, no double spacing for me. I have to be honest, unfortunately. <clears throat> so, Portuguese will just be suffered in Angola. Hmm, that's promising. Also, there's nothing I can do about it. My hand is just so bad. Okay, I get to hold one card. Which one will it be? Probably not Korean War. 
it will only get worse with flower power. So let's assume I will hold either Matin Revolution or OPEC, which means I'm playing the other. Revolution does fix its own damage unless he decides to steal Libya from me. Yeah, let's wait with that for a while. Hmm. Another problem is that he doesn't have any millops right now. Would be hard pressed to get them, which means I might want to hold Korean War after all. Okay, either way, I'm definitely not holding OPEC. So here you are. Next, oh yes, into South America. I know it's just been scored, but has to be done either way. Oh yes, then Muslim to take care of unfinished business there. Hopefully he doesn't have ABM or brush war. Maybe that will tell me something. Hmm, he also doesn't have Asknot, regrettably. Let's, let's thin the deck a little bit. Okay. I think I'll focus on the lower half of the region. Hope that either puppets or Panama event will get me into Venezuela, Brazil. Okay, Muslim Revolution goes next. And then I'll coup with one small step from Saharan step uh, states, I guess. <coughs> no reason to try anything else. Hmm, where would that influence go to? Well, shit, that was annoying. Okay, okay. You can have it. Damn it. Okay, Iran is certainly need it. Okay, Brush will find a target. <coughs> it 
always does. At least he overspent in Libya, as well happens when somebody's out of places to spend his influence. Uh, sorry, spend his ops. Losing Pakistan did hurt a bit. NATO, NATO? No. Damn! I made a mistake. Should have went for all of it. Not at all. He can't coup! Okay. Grain sales of the day is grain sales. And given that I hold Fidel, Liberation Theology, and a bunch of, bunch of other stuff. Should be good. Well, I mean, I will suffer a bit in the Middle East. But that's not a huge problem. I should have had something in Nicaragua, though. Just to have an instant domination of Central America. Okay, Gunman will go with you an intervention. Liberation Teleology goes to space. Korean War will be suffered. Fidel, well, might as well. Ah, okay. So, no more huge problems. Come on, really? Really, this one? Oh, that's annoying. <laughs> I have to do it. Just like that, he gets China card for free. Very well done. Okay, at least I have plenty of stuff to dump to Quagmire. And Purge is out. Well, he might be able to steal. Panama or Mexico from me with ABM or brush, so Panama, but nothing more. Oh, he could walk into Venezuela, Brazil, okay. That is also true. Hmm, also a control of Middle East is possible. I mean, if he decides to go for Iran right now, it's not like I can stop him. That's a waste. That's disturbing. It's now ABM into Angola. <sighs> Might lose me entire Africa.
even without IBM, we just we can do double break. Although then at least I'll have the time to get out, try to get out Quagmire once more, and do some protective coups of Cameroon. That did not feel right. In Sudan, really? Extra silent? Not going for uh, control? Didn't really feel right. Okay. Puppets need to happen either way. And now let's start the coup in Africa. Damn, that will be expensive. <laughs> sure hope I'll get the colonials before that happens. Hmm, and there's that. Hmm. Okay, I guess the advantage in Africa is just too big. I mean, 7-4. That's a lot. I'll let him have it then. Mm, focusing on Central America instead. Perhaps I should have ignored... Yes, I should have ignored domination right away. No reason to give him a juicy coup target after all. Okay, about African events. I think both are gone. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Well, if he's wasting ops like this, <coughs> no reason to stop him. Let's make Central America a problem. And then make sure that he doesn't get a coup in Angola. Since that could just break the backbone of my entire position in Africa. Let's see, Central America. Nah, he wouldn't have done it then. Africa? Nope. Oh, not that. To have to do that. Okay, what about OPEC? Is OPEC still around? Mm, nope, okay. 
Okay, so no need to rush with Sadat. Panama Canal returned in that case, just for some small tiny junta protection. He's really turning this game around, isn't he? Hmm. At least he failed that. Still, without colonials. I'm not a happy camper here. Let's dump that as soon as possible. NATO! Wow! He's rich. <clears throat> okay. Now, two questions. Does he have Africa scoring and does he have anything against Angola? Specifically, the ABM Treaty. <laughs> Funny that what seemed like a already won game has suddenly turned into quite a problem. I'm dominated in Asia. Heavily threatened in Africa, threatened in South America, very badly positioned in the Middle East. Only Europe still holds. Hmm, and then there's that. Okay, I don't really care about Indonesia anymore. I mean, I have just scored it after all. Okay, I do care a little bit. Nicely played by an opponent. Going for long term position, or suffering on the track, but it somehow all worked out. Okay, so he didn't have ABM. That's something, at least. Okay. Not too obvious. <clears throat> now, let's see you sweat. Or he could just waltz into Venezuela since I don't have any more triops to counter him hmm okay glad he decided to do that How far um, am I with catching the baits? 
plus one. Good. Plus one, plus two, zero, plus three, plus four. Hmm. Okay. Finally, Voice of America, what took you so long, eh? Mm, it will have to be my headline, by the way. Since otherwise, I have no means of causing trouble to my opponent. Is there? Oh, I hate that. So, Angola, Venezuela, Argentina, maybe. No, probably not Argentina. Whew. Okay, that's gloomy. No reason to hold arms race in that case. Brush war. Yeah, that would be Pakistan. Asia is just too important. I'm like I could hope for in the Pakistani war, but this it might just as well work for my opponent. Although Libya is also a tempting target. Achieving a draw in the Middle East. Nothing to complain about. Damn it. Okay. Now brush war will be kind of expensive. I don't have a good coup target. So Mexico it is. Now you choose your coup target. I assume it will be Angola. <clears throat> After which I will take Nigeria. Proud how I learn no, I need that for a coup somewhere. <coughs> well, I'll use a three up in that case. Hmm. Oh he did not get CIA, so what's the hold up? He does have ask not. <coughs> Worth to remember about that. Not that I have a huge discard for him, so he might just as well get rid of it. Okay, so what's the current score? Oh, the shuttle diplomacy is active, which means that for the moment there's a draw in the Middle East. Okay, Angola. No! Seriously! <sighs> okay. Hmm. Right, 
metal and you get millops from brush war. No need for any coups. Although I might in Africa somewhere. guess another shot now, which doesn't really matter. Since I have, well, nothing to space. I wonder if he decides to give it a try with Mr. Candy. The goal still around. That it is. First things first, though. Really? That's interesting. Hmm. Very much so, actually. Okay. That worked a little bit. Let's give it another try. Good. Pakistan, I guess, is the obvious target. Well, that was a bit wasted. Okay. <coughs> That's actually somewhat problematic. So well, that's two victory points. That's four. That's well, brush war. Might want to give him that coup. Okay, what are the statistics for? In the baits. It's minus one, plus one, that's a draw. That's okay, a lot. A lot plus one. It's still a lot plus one. Okay, still a lot. Hmm. <laughs> as weird as it is, I will allow him another coup in my heavily underprotected Africa. In Angola, I'll assume. No! And my final move will be brush war against either Pakistan or Libya. Oh, that's helpful. Yeah. Okay, with Asia, 
not being a problem anymore. Yeah, that's a win. Ames, sorry. Just need to be a little bit careful to nurse at home. <laughs> hmm. One, two, just two. Yeah, no reason to bother with it. your poison, sir. Finally, Angola. Very reasonably so. <laughs> no luck for me. Okay, so I lose a lot of Africa. But again, if he decides to coup Cameroon, Chad's practically free. First, let's steal the China card, so make sure that if he has problem cards, <coughs> he will have them for a while still. So Europe, Adrich will dump in there. Hmm, already. Nothing going for realignment. Unusual. Assuming he might have Middle East, but <coughs> okay, that's five. Hmm, okay, it's no luck with Cameroon. I'll just have to space it. Are there any problematic scorings? Not anymore, it seems. Let's go for Central America then. Ah, damn, Africa looks really bad. Okay, two DEFCON suicide cards. Hmm? Not a fan. Luckily, I have an intervention and space. So that should not be a huge problem. about purge. 
Purchase tool might be an option. So is Fidel, by the way. Now that I think of it. Yep. Well, that's a good news, bad news type of situation, I guess. Still, a game that felt easily won is becoming problematic yet again. What takes us for him to win in the Pakistani war? Score Asia. And it's not as shiny and rosy as it used to be only a moment ago. Okay, Mexico, no. That might also work. Hmm. Oh crap. Okay. Ay, ah, damn it! That will cost me in Nicaragua points. Hmm. Okay, I'll have to wait for him to coup Nicaragua. War games, war games, where are though? Here you are. Oh, that's generous. That's less so. Damn, that's truly disturbing. Really, very much so. Good rolls, it seems. Special relationship no longer. Okay, that can wait, I guess. First things first, I need to protect Africa. Seems like a one game twice already. And now the rolls. The rolls are really making a mess of things. He has them, I mostly do not. <laughs> okay, that just doesn't, just doesn't work, it seems.
Yeah. Nicely done by my opponent. Very nicely done. I think I used to control Africa. Have a safe, very safe draw in South America. Now it's gone. Yeah, that did not work very well. So the current score is Europe and Central America for me. Middle mm, East still slightly for him. Oh well, yeah, that's just a temporary measure after all. Damn it. Long gunman! Brilliant. Cow. Useful, but not overly so. Flower power, is it active? Yes, so that's a problem. <coughs> so, I could go give Hunta a try. Hopefully it will keep him busy and give me a chance to take Central America. Mass Revolution. Hmm. Okay, what other scorings are there? Middle East, Asia, and my Central America. Okay. Middle East. Almost, but alas. However, I should get the opportunity to take Cuba because of that. And that is important. Okay, Muslim Revolution will wait, since there's some chance I'll get the relevant event. That will be an event. I also need to protect Africa. Very much so, in fact. Since I can never match his country count, I need to make sure I keep my battlegrounds. Otherwise, well, <laughs> let's just say it's not rosy. Not at all. OK. 
Okay, so China card will be my last play, I assume. Hmm. <laughs> Does he have a good card targets except for Cuba, obviously? Hmm. Cuba is target enough, possibly. Now that's somewhat disturbing. No, I need to hold it for a while longer. There's a huge chance he has the event. Extra. I will not play Long Gunman. And hard to say what else. But I will almost, almost certainly play the goal. Hmm, maybe I should play it right now. Nah, I don't want to enter a race. I'll keep the goal as my final play here. Okay, there's also the matter of time. Hmm. Oh, come on, both of them? <sighs> and I lost again. Yeah, let's just see it to the end. <laughs> of course it did. So even on Gamma's side, I'm losing this game on the map as well. So, congrats to my opponent, I guess.
yeah, probably should have played the China card a bit later. Give him greater chance of discarding a problematic card. So that should have been maybe Evil Empire into Cuba. Hmm. If I wonder if I can win this on time. <laughs> that would be kind of silly, actually. Okay, that was funny. Not a Marco, but game really. A bit disturbing too. Since I really should have won, gunman aside, given the position that I had. But when well, put against the wall, my opponent played some very, very nice moves, especially in Central America, in Africa. Because, well, in South America, okay. His coups work. He had Junta, he had ABM for Venezuela, then whatever it was for Argentina, and um, leftover realignment for Chile. So, right cards, right moves, nothing uh, special about it, but well, with Mexico and with Africa, that were, these were some great choices by him. Also a very interesting uh, T1 choice, if I'm not mistaken, yeah. Decal, Asia scoring, and then duck and cover. I mean, it was kind of vulnerable to a uh, coup in Laos, Cambodia, perhaps I should have done that, but still. I guess there's a new wave of players coming. 
and we better get ready. 